including my fellow presenters. So, um, hi everyone, I'm Alice Meadows. I'm the Director of Community Engagement at NISO, the National Information Standards Organization. Um, and NISO is, if you don't already know, the new home for the PID Forum, which hopefully you have heard of and are at least um, somewhat engaged in. Uh, but what we want to do during this session is to tell you a little bit about the PID Forum itself, but mostly find out from you what you would like from the PID Forum going forward. Um, so some introductions which are actually handy for me since I can now see my fellow presenters on the screen, but you've got, you've got double versions of us. Um, so uh, Ricarda Brackman uh, from DANS um, was part of Project Freya, which kicked off the PID Forum. She's going to tell us a little bit more about the history in a moment um, and has really been very instrumental in um, uh, making the PID Forum the success that it is already. Uh, Helena Kashane, you know, she's the moderator for this session from DataSite and has also been closely involved. Rachel, you know, from the last session in Crossref, so, so many familiar faces. Um, also, um, uh, PID Forum, uh, what we've been calling sort of ambassador, Francis Madden, who hopefully is there as well from the British Library and again, um, a, a former and current um, PID Forum ambassador and myself. So, Ricardo, over to you for a quick look back. Yes, thank you. Um, I hope you can all hear me. So, indeed, my name is Ricardo Brommann. I work at Dance and I have been involved in, in the Freya project together with uh, a lot of uh, different colleagues. The project has now ended, um, but what we have done in the project is setting up uh, the PIT forum as a, um, as a space for uh, the PIT community online to gather together and exchange. And um, we are really happy that the forum will continue even now that the Freya project has been ending. So um, yeah, I'm very ha happy and excited to hear about your thoughts for what we're going to do next. And just to give you a quick overview, so we started the PIT Forum actually at Pitapalooza two years ago in 2019. Um, and since then, it has been growing to become a place for more than 550 people. I think it says 566, but maybe there might be even more users now. So hopefully many of you in the audience are already using the PIT Forum. And it is, um, it is an online space uh, on a Discord platform where we um, have several different topics and uh, sections for people to engage and interact. It has a lot of information about persistent identifiers, includes the knowledge hub that we have been developing in Freya um, as, a, as a means of uh, distributing our training materials. But there's also a lot of space for discussions and we have different topics, for instance, on user stories, PITS events, news, also on the EOS PIT policy that we've been working on in Freya. And we're hoping to expand this in the future to make it um, a home for a lot of people interested in PITS to exchange and engage uh, online. And I think that's about what I wanted to say to give you a bit of an idea of what it, what it is and how we established it. So back to you, Alice. Thanks, Ricarda. And if anybody has questions or stories about the PID Forum, um, please uh, feel free to post them. So um, at NISO, we are very thrilled to be the new home for the PID Forum. There was a, um, a sort of RFP that went out um, and uh, several organisations um, submitted. I don't, I don't know who, but I know there were several organisations that submitted um, proposals and uh, we collectively and I personally was very happy um, that we were successful because although I haven't been as involved um, going back as some of the others on the call have been, I have been with my former ORCID hat on and then when I moved to NISO um, still involved with the forum and I think it's a wonderful um, uh, you know, it's a wonderful thing to be able to take forward, you know, all the work that's gone into it already and there's so much more potential for us. And I think this Pidapalooza being virtual and allowing people from all over the world to participate is a real is real evidence of how much appetite there is for, for all things PID related. So, as I said, most of what we want to do in this session is really to look ahead to PID Forum 2 and we want you to help us shape 2.0 and we want you to help us shape what that might look like. We did at the um, uh, Freya project wrap up um, in November, I think it was, um, ask uh, the audience there for some feedback. 
um, and they gave us some helpful uh, information. I don't know how visible these slides are to you, but we asked them what we want the for PID form, what they want the PID form to be, and there was was really very equally divided between an open discussion forum for PID questions and challenges, a place for the PID community to collaborate and coordinate, and a space for technical PID discussions. Um, there was less enthusiasm and support for it being a home for the nascent PID Federation community. Um, but obviously that may change if that community um, really becomes established. There was also very clear direction from that group in terms of what they want um, the, PID, the PID forum's top priority to be, and that was around involving other um, persistent identifier groups. And we're going to come back to that um, in a minute and ask all of you more about that. We also had quite a lot of other sort of comments and ideas from people. I'm not going to um, go through all of them, uh, but some of them I'll pull out as things that we also think um, are very important, um, a place to find PID experts. I think that's, I hope that's something people already think, but I think it's something that we could make more explicit and easier. Um, facilitating more active discussion is absolutely something we want. A lot of these, pretty much all of it, are things that we want, we're gonna need your help with to be successful at them. Um, there are some questions around um, how the PID forum relates to the RDA PID IG, um, PID interest group, um, and we are looking into whether there are ways that we can be, um, you know, we can we can coordinate more closely with that group. Um, we talked about expanding the community. Um, I like that I'd like the PID forum as an open space to make new friends. Yes, um, just as at Pidapalooza, I think it's a great place to, um, you know, to to make friends and colleagues within our wider community. We hope the PID Forum will be that too. Um, yeah, I think those are the main things. So now we want to move on to thinking about how you can get involved. And we really hope you will, because when um, we put in the proposal to take on the PID Forum at NISO, NISO is a tiny organisation. There are seven of us. Um, it's, a, it's a global organisation, even though we have the word national in our, in our um, name, uh, but we're really an international organisation working on standards and we rely very heavily on our volunteer community um, because between the seven of us, there's just no way we could do all the work that needs to get done. And the same applies to the PID forum. So our pitch was very much about this is what we can do, but we really need to get the community engaged. Um, so here are some things that we've come up with. Um, it's possible that some of these names may change as it's early days. And one of the things that we want to bring people on to do is to help us uh, evolve our thinking on what some of these uh, uh, sorts of roles involve. But um, at a high level, uh, we're looking for some PID Forum champions, and they would be somewhat the equivalent of those of us who've been PID Forum ambassadors up till now. Really people who will go out and actively spread the word about the PID Forum in their communities, but also bring stuff back to the PID Forum. So really actively involved. And this will be a bit of a commitment, a time commitment, because we plan to have regular meetings of the, of the champions group. Um, it will probably be every four to six weeks for the first six months or so, and then drop off to, to every other month or maybe even quarterly once we're really established. But we think that we need to, um, you know, properly properly get that group off the ground. Um, and that's going to take fairly regular meetings, fairly frequent meetings for the first six months or so. Um, so we really hope that some of you um, in the audience will be interested, at least in finding out more about that. We've been holding off on holding the first meeting of that champions group, which will all the current ambassadors will be invited to. And we hope um, most or all of them will be willing to continue to be involved. All of the uh, all of us on this um, presentation have, have committed to doing so. Um, but we also hope that we'll be able to expand that group. So um, please, please have a think and, um, you know, consider volunteering. We'll post information about that on the forum, obviously. Another way to get involved would be to host a group on the forum. Um, there are several of these groups at the moment, but we think it's something that um, the community could really use more of. We think it would, this would be a really helpful thing for groups within the community. So a couple of examples of what types of groups those might be. They might be local language groups. So we have, I think, two or three of those at the moment. Um, those, I'm sure, would appreciate more support. But also if um, you're a non-English language speaker and you either have a thriving PID community or would like to build one in your language, then the PID forum would be a great home for that. 
And similarly, PID specific, I think Datasite is the only persistent identifier that has a sort of home on the PID forum at the moment. But there's no reason why other PIDs couldn't do the same. Um, and we'd love to bring you in and make you part of the part of the wider PID forum uh, community. Another option is to be a PID forum expert. And I should say that these are not at all mutually exclusive. If you want to do all of these, that would be fabulous. Um, but being a PID forum expert would really be um, somebody who's there to uh, monitor the questions that come in, uh, help monitor the questions that come in on the PID forum and either answer them themselves or know who would be a good person to answer them and tag that person. And also to help us build the knowledge hub that uh, Ricarda mentioned, which is where we're trying to uh, make sure that there's plenty of training resources. Um, so Freya did a fantastic job of, of gathering a lot of that. But of course, you know, it's always evolving. That work is never done. So adding to those resources, one of the things that we will be adding there is the PID 101 sessions in all the different languages that uh, they were provided in for Pidapalooza. We also have a, a, an offer to do one in Korean. So that will be added at some point. And again, if there are other languages um, and we can provide those, that would be great. So if you're, particularly, I think being a PID forum expert, particularly if you have deep knowledge of one specific community or PID, um, we would really value your your help and your expertise. If you can't sort of, if you're not able to commit in a, in a more formal way, then we really hope that you will all be PID forum contributors. And that just means keep, keep the PID forum in mind. When you have PID news, um, it's a great place to put it. Maybe there's some updates to the PID that you're working on. Maybe you work with PIDs and you've just implemented something that you're really happy with or you have a problem with. Um, maybe you're going to an event and or speaking at an event um, about PIDs. Um, if you can try and remember to put that information there, the more active we can keep um, the PID forum, the more people will want to come back to it and the more successful it will be. So if, if nothing else, um, if you want to get involved, that would be fantastic. You can also engage on Twitter. We have a Twitter handle finally just in time for Pidapalooza um, at uh, Forum PID. So please follow us there, engage with us there, tell us what you like, what you don't like, share your news. Uh, we'd love to see you there. And if you really, really don't do anything else, please at least be a PID forum lurker. Go and take a look around, um, sign up for updates and just follow along with what we're doing. And, um, you know, maybe at some point you'll change from a lurker to a champion. Um, but uh, we would love to have you involved in whatever way you would uh, you would like to be involved. So now it's your turn to tell us what you want. Um, and again, I can't see the chat, I'm afraid. So I'm going to rely on everybody else. Uh, and I think um, my... Yeah, there, there is there is some conversation uh, happening Great. in the chat. Um, so there's one comment. Um, I've only recently become aware of the PIT forum. I would like for it to be a place where I can ask stupid questions about implementation, hear potential solutions from others who have faced similar challenges, and I have not been brave enough yet to post anything on the PIT forum. Okay, please, please, well, be brave, but don't feel like you have to be brave. Um, we, I think, I hope that one thing that Pidapalooza will have um, reinforced to those of us who are already involved and taught to those of you that haven't been um, as involved in the past is that we are a really, really welcoming community and there is no such thing as a silly question. I ask what might be termed silly questions all the time. Um, there's no judgment. We would love you to pose your questions. If, if you have a question, it's, I would put money, I am not a gambler, but I would put money on the fact that at least one other person and probably many other people have the same question. So please feel um, really comfortable and welcome posting anything, um, you know, whether it's a question or, or whatever, please, please don't, please try not to feel that you have to be brave to post that sort of thing on the, on the forum, because we really want to hear from you. I guess I'm wondering, would it be helpful if we would have a specific channel on the PIT forum for? We could have a know, kind of ask it, anything. Yeah, type exactly. Of channel. Yeah. Yep, so absolutely. that it's clear when you, where you can ask those yep. types of questions. Yeah. Uh, so there's also a suggestion. Uh, I would recommend uh, PIT forum groups for different repository services in addition to specific PITs. Uh, for example, yep. for DSpace, where you can ask all PIT related questions for that particular platform. Yeah, that's a great idea. And, and yes, I, I should have been clear that those two suggestions weren't the only suggestions at all. If you have any kind of a you know, a community, a group um, that's sort of reasonably well defined that would that would find it helpful to have a 
home relating to its work around PIDs, then we'd love you to consider the PID forum that home. Okay. And also oh, a question. Um, should we bring the PID forum and Pidapalooza communities closer together? <laughs> It, yes, I think, uh, yes, the brief answer to that is yes. And we did sort of do that with last year's Pidapalooza. And I'm afraid, I think probably partly because of the transfer, uh, you know, the sort of winding down at Freya and the picking up at NISA, we didn't do that this year. But absolutely, it completely makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I think then uh, you can ask your first question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to, I think it's over to you guys to ask the questions um, and, and also then look at the comments since I can't. So I'm going to hand it over to, um, I think, uh, Rachel and Helena and Francis. Thank you. Me. Cool. Um, and I think um, Daisy's made a, um, a good suggestion in terms of this already, but I said, thinking about if you're familiar with the PID forum, or to be honest, even if you're not, um, which groups do you think um, should be involved um, that aren't there already? And um, it said, I, I do, um, for different repositories and services, I do think that that's, um, that that's a really good idea. Um, I know, for example, um, a lot of the Crossref community uses the um, the PKP forums to ask questions about open journal systems. Um, so, um, so that's somewhere that that could sit. I wanted to add while you're all thinking that I put Sporty Spice on because before this year, working, um, doing your job in your tracksuit the whole time was, was something that was difficult for everyone, but she managed it back in the 90s. So um, I thought that was pretty and impressive. And you're sporty, Rachel. Makes sense. <laughs> well, also also that, I, I don't mind a tracksuit. And it said, I think, you know, to, to kind of to kind of hold that thought, obviously we've got um we've got questions that can go into the um in the Slack as um into the Slack as well. Um or obviously just get in touch with us anytime. Um and I think Carly's adding a, a plus one to additional specific PID services would be great. So she said I think that's something that we can yeah. um that we can if explore. you have that would I mean, be great. obviously we're all reasonably familiar with other PID services, but if there are particular um organizations that uh, you think we should reach out to, as I mentioned, the RDA PID interest group is one that we already have on our radar. But if there are others, again, uh, specific others, please do um, either put them in the chat or, or, or get in touch in other ways. Are we ready to move on to the next question? We're still working. I think keep going. OK, next question. Yeah, <laughs> great. OK, so this is my one and it's um what one thing would you like to see on the pit forum that's not there already um so i suppose we've already had a suggestion from that around um a kind of area for stupid questions or whatever um as has been pointed out there is a questions category that sort of i think is quite far down <laughs> um down the bottom of the different types of categories um but i think maybe we could rename it sort of you know ask me anything or whatever um because, yeah, as Alice said, you know, we do want to be as inclusive as possible. Um, but, yeah, are there any other, um, anything else that you'd like to see? Um, let us know in the chat. Um, I also see a message saying the RDA PIT IG is in the house. I don't know if that means the RDA PIT IG would like to, to comment or share some thoughts on closer collaboration. I mean, I'm also happy to invite you onto the screen, uh, Jonathan, if you would like to comment. Perhaps he's already in the pit forum house. I, okay. Maybe shall I move on to the next um, slide and then we'll we can invite somebody else. I can close my stop sharing and we can invite somebody else on this onto this um, stage if we want to. Would that oh, make sense? He's eating lunch. I guess that's oh, a no. OK. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'll see a question from Carly saying, can you tag with multiple categories? I imagine there's quite a lot of overlap. Yeah, that's true. And as far as I'm aware, you can. Um, and the way it works as well is if something, even if the category sort of is quite far down, once something's new, it appears in the top right of the screen on that list. So 
um, all the new updates appear there, the new topics. So, And you can also sign up for updates so that you'll automatically get alerted when anything's added. I don't actually know whether you can just do that in certain topics. I should know that. Uh, you can definitely set alerts for certain categories okay. and um, communities. So Jonathan, representing uh, the PIT interest group, is saying that he's very happy to collaborate with the PIT forum and suggesting maybe we could run a channel around each plenary. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm assuming this is Jonathan Clark. Yes, yes. Yeah, great. Jonathan, I'll be in touch um, offline, but that's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, there's a, a suggestion that you could even consider a co-located event together with the plenary. Mm. Okay, I will be in touch. Thank you. This is uh, Francoise suggesting oh, that. Okay. Um, Sorry. It's really, it's very bizarre just not being able to see at all what's going on. Um, another comment as well around running community consultations and um, we, um, the EOSC PID policy consultation was run through the PID forum um, last year and I think that was yeah. seemed to be very successful. We seem to get quite a lot of feedback that way. So I think definitely we should look to do that in the future. And I suppose that's kind of going back to Al Alice's point about, you know, just thinking about the PID forum um, whenever you're doing something. Um, so yeah, if anyone does want to run a consultation and um, to bear it in mind. I think we may also do a sort of survey within the um, PID forum once we, the, the sort of the group of champions has met once or twice to think about what we want to get out of that. But I think it might be helpful to survey our community there as well. Um, about some specific areas and ideas. Okay, shall I move on to the last yeah. question? I think that's you, Helena. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, so then our last question. Uh, what could we do that would make the PIT forum even more useful for you? Because I think this is probably the third Pitapalooza where we've discussed the PIT forum. So we already uh, have quite a lot of input and many good ideas. Um, but we would still like to know if there's anything else we can do to make sure that by next year, all of you are on the PIT forum, some of you lurking, some of you participating. So yeah, if there's anything more we can do, then we'd really like to hear from you. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen now so I can participate a bit more easily. Okay, and thank you, Jonathan, for yes, suggest uh, using the PID forum as a as a good place to post when you're building the your agenda. And I think uh, in the chat we have Todd uh, saying to Jonathan that it might make sense to have a connection with the forum and the PID IG. There is an opening for an RDA IG co-chair. Yeah, totally makes sense. Maybe, um, I have got no idea how many people are on this um, call, but is there anybody um, here who wasn't already familiar with the PID forum? And is there anything that we can, um, is there any other information that it would be helpful for us to share with you? Or, or for those of you on the on the call who are already using it that you would like to share? Oh, I see a very good comment in chat. Is there any getting started with the PID forum documentation mm -hmm. so I can switch on my alerts? That seems a very good suggestion. Yes. Thank you, Carly. Yeah, and I think there are some general instructions on Discord because the platform is used, but we don't have that specifically for the PID forum. So I think that's definitely yeah, that, something we could yes. do. Yeah. Yes, agreed. Um, and Jenny, no worries, but but hopefully this is a good reminder for you that we're here and we would love to hear from you. And it would actually be fantastic. I think the um, sort of non-STEM art stuff, um, I think your community is very good at, um, at, at kind of reminding us that we we really need to make sure that your needs, needs are met. Um, but doing so on the PID forum would be very, very helpful as well. Okay, so with an eye on the clock, are there any final questions, comments? Uh, I see one more comment, more directly link Pitapalooza to the PIT forum. Yeah. Um, ah, I, I've been chatting with colleagues, would be get, good to get involved with the four publishers group. Yep. 
Uh, I now have more confidence in posting stupid questions to the platform. I think that's a great outcome of this session. Everyone should feel that way. Um, yeah, but actually, it's a good. I mean, maybe we should set up or or see whether there's interest in setting up a sort of a publishers group, a funders group, a repository. You know, a sort of a um, stakeholder groups. Yeah, yeah. Um, perhaps if we survey people, that would be a good question to ask. And yes, Rolf, I think I think um, the challenge with the getting started, including the groups, is we're going to have to keep updating it in hopes that the groups will keep getting added to. But that's a, that would be a very nice problem to have. OK, I think these are all really great suggestions. I don't know, Alice, if you want to say some final words before we close this session. Uh, well, I want to say thank you to Ricarda because she did a fabulous job with the PID forum and also has been such a pleasure to work with on the handover period. So big, big thank you to you. Thank you to all of you for um, well for presenting here, but also for agreeing to stay on and be PID champions, which I'm really, really happy about. And please, everybody, just get involved. Um, please follow us on Twitter, but also even more importantly, if you possibly, um, if you if you can, we would love to see you on the PID forum itself in whatever way you feel comfortable contributing. Um, and and uh, yeah, if, if nothing else from this session, please go and take a look, sign up for alerts and then look out for information from us. Even if you don't do anything with it, at least you'll know what's going on. So thank you. OK, great. Thanks a lot, everyone. And then in a couple of minutes, we'll get started with the next session with Bianca Kramer. Thank you. Thanks.